Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, we will see how we can send the data via HTTP request in a different ways. So we already seen about these all the things, right? So how to send the data. So now when, whenever we want to make a request to the server, we need to send the data. If not, we need to send it. Often, sometimes we need to, uh, it's required to send a data to the message as a message. So we have also seen the different ways how we can send the data using the HTTP request headers or HTTP body like that we have seen it, right? And now in this video, we'll see the practical way how we can send the data to the server. So first you'll see about the HTTP GET request. In this video, we will see how we can send data via HTTP. So that means via HTTP, how we can send the data. Let's try to see it. Browsers communicate to the web server using HTTP. HTTP can be used to transfer all sorts of data like text, HTML, JavaScript, and also etc. So the browsers, we also know that communicate to the web servers using HTTP and HTTP is used to transfer to transfer all sorts of data like text, HTML, JavaScript, like that. Sometimes it is useful to store the data you want to send in some kind of format. Okay. So now, for example, the data, the data you are trying to send to the HTML. So for example, sorry, the, to the web server. So you need to send a data. So the say the data that you are trying to send, it needs to be in one in some kind of format. Why? Because so that the server can understand very easily. So that format, the two most common formats are JSON and the XML. So these are the two most common formats which we will try to send the data in this format to the server. Of course, in the Ajax, the X, the last X represents the XML format only. So in the olden days, so we used to communicate to the web server using the XML. So XML is also one type of storing the data. And recent times, uh, like the technology is upgrading and all those things, JSON also came. So JSON is the most preferred way of transferring the data to the web server via browser. So that is the reason Ajax also supports the JSON thing. So that is a different kind of thing. We will discuss, we will see about all those things in the coming videos. But I am trying to tell you that transferring the data from the web browser to the server can be done in the two com most common formats that is JSON and the XML. Browser offers four main ways to place the data into the HTTP GET or POST request. So the browser, so now we need to send a data. We understood the sending of, uh, we know that uh, how we can send the data and all those things we have understood. So now the browser offers four main ways to place the data into the HTTP GET or POST request. So now we need to, un we need to know that uh, what are the four main ways. First way is the links. So check clicking on the link it triggers a GET request to be made to the server. Now I will try to show you a simple demo. I will use the PHP as the backend thing. So don't matter, you can use the Node.js and all those things also. So we'll try to see all those things, but I will try to use the PHP code so that it, can, it will be finished very easily. So that is the reason. So now let's go here and I will be going to our project. Okay. Now here in the protocols, I am creating a new file protocol.html. So this is our protocol. So this is a HTML, simple HTML file. So here I will be having so simple demo on the HTTP link, okay? HTTP links are uh, sending get request data. So this is the simple demo. So here I can have one div, and here I will be using one anchor link href href. So click here to get data. So this is the anchor link and now what I want to do is so here I need to send some data to the another URL. So how we can send it here. So here we can have something like main.php. So like this we will try to do it. So I am using some URL. So let's try to start the server. So here so we can start the server using php hyphen yes server localhost and the port name I am trying to give it. So if you have any other thing also you can start it just I am using the php thing. So it's not a problem. So let's go into this one and here I will try to use it. Yeah, here. So let's try to see simple demo on the HTTP link and sending on or sending the get request data. And here we are having click here to get data. If I click on this one, so we are getting not found. Why? Because the main.php file is not existing. Let's try to create the main.php file. Here I am creating the main.php file. 
so here this is our php file and if you want to print so we need to open with the php here and here i can use echo hello world so it is used to echo hello world so this is the echo thing or otherwise you can use the print also not a problem now if you try to see the output if i here so we are able to see the hello world now from this protocol.html when i click on this one to the main.php it is redirecting to the main.php so fine <clears throat> everything is looking fine so now what i want to do is i want to send the data some data to the main.php from protocol.html how we can send it so right when we click on this anchor link it makes a get request to the main.php so now if i want to send the data i can use question mark okay to send the data this is one way of sending the data so here i can say that channel name the name and here we can use lila web dev so this is our channel name so I am sending it as a key value pair. Now, in order to show this Leela web dev channel name, here I can use something like echo. In order to get the uh, get request dollar underscore get, and we need to give the channel name here. That's it. Now, here if you try to see, if I refresh this page, and if I click on this one, see we are trying to send the get request channel name Leela web dev, and here we are able to see this Leela web dev. Now we are able to successfully send the data. If you try to see here inspect element and in the console in the network, let's try to see how the request has been made in the network. Let's try to see it. Let's go back. Okay, I am using the all. Refresh it. So this is the protocol.html and here you will be able to see the headers. So this is simple get request and here we are able to see the request headers. So these are all the request headers. Okay. And these are the response headers. Fine. Let's try to make a call. So I'm trying to make a call. Here main.php, we are able to call this main.php. And the request method we are trying to make is the get request. And the status code we are getting is the 200 OK. And the remote address is the local host. And here we are able to see the response headers which are coming back from the server. And here the content type we are getting is the text slash html or otherwise you can change the content also you'll try to see those things so the uh, the host and the powered by so the thing is h php and these are the request address which we are trying to send it to the server so here we are able to see that i have what are the types of things which will be accepted and here the host so we can able to see these all things and if you try to see the payload and here you will be able to see the view source if you try to see or otherwise here also we can see the view source so this is the view source and if you try to see here this is the view source and if you try to see here get request and channel name lila web dev we are able to see it and in the payload we are able to see channel name is equal lila web dev so this is the get request how we are trying to send it so these are all how we can send the header, header get request hope you understood about this one sending the data if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you